always Hi, taking Thank questions. you for joining us today while we stretch and get a little stronger so that the things that we do every day are just a little easier. You'll find that happens. If you exercise with us or anybody else just a little bit, as often as you can, the things you do every day are going to be a lot easier. So we're glad you joined us today and you're going to be glad you joined us today. You'll want to wear loose, comfortable clothes so that you bend and stretch and open and reach. You don't feel restricted in any way. We are going to be standing up behind our chair. So you want to make sure you have good support of footwear on, which means like no flip-flops or slides or high heels or anything <laughs> like that. You'll want to make sure that you have water that you drink before, during, and after our time together. And you'll want to work at your own pace. If Carol and I are working too quickly for you, slow right down. If we're working too slowly for you and you can pick up the pace safely, then go right ahead and do that. So you'll want to listen to your body. And by listening to your body, it will tell you what's good and what you could do better. And of course, your doctor can do that when you see him and he tells you exercises that you should or shouldn't do. So always listen to your body and do whatever your body tells you to do. Unless, of course, it tells you to go out and have a donut. <laughs> I mean, that you really, maybe you could like after we worked out, but you want to work out and just do your best. When we're working out, you want to make sure you don't push or force or make any move that's so grand that it causes any pain. You just want to work where you're working a little bit. You're trying really hard, but back off when your body tells you to back off. Remember, we want to do smooth, even moves. Mm. And of course, you want to eat well because you need good fuel for your body. Kind of like a car. You put good gas in your car, your car runs well, you check its oil. So you put good food in your body and you feel good, which means not too much sugar. They say not too many carbohydrates, but mm -hmm. I really love pasta. <laughs> And, of course, you want to eat your fruits and vegetables. Very, very important. And drink your water. That's all part of it. And, of course, if you really want to be healthy, sleep is important. A lot of people say, I really can't get to sleep. I get up in the middle mm -hmm. of the night and have to go to the bathroom. I do that. But when I lay back down, I say to myself, boy, it is easy for me to get back to sleep. It's easy for me to get back <laughs> to sleep. It's easy for me to get back to sleep. <laughs> so, <laughs> Sometimes you want to squeeze your muscles and relax, and that helps you get to sleep. So if we have time at the end of this, we'll do that. But basically, we're going to work on getting our heart rate up. Mm. So before we begin this, let's talk to Carol. Hi. I hope you're all ready to get a great, great beat right here. That's what we're going to try to accomplish. So just watch Mary, and we'll be fine. Okay, and because Carol was a professional dancer in New York City, when I'm doing out and in, she may be a little more um, dramatic. And that will be good because if you're a beginner, you follow me. And if you want a little more workout, follow Carol. We're going to work on our heart rate today. So we want to make sure that we're sitting down and mm -hmm. feeling very, very secure in a good, sturdy chair. So we want to look around and make sure that there's nothing. We're going to be touching out and in, forward, back, reaching. So we want to make sure that our environment above us and on the sides of us and underneath us, we want to make sure it's all clear of any clutter and like little pets laying down. Oh, we don't want to bother uh, them at all. So we're going to start to move. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. We're going to start right with the feet. We're just going to do a nice, easy march. What's easy for me is if I lean back a little, I'm sitting at the edge of my good sturdy chair, and if I lean back a little, I can start to march. And then I add my arms, and then we count for 10 and 9 and 8 and 7 and 6 and 5 and 4 and 3 and 2 and 1. Then we take a break. Then we go slower and try to get our knee a little higher. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And if you count along with Carol and me, you'll find that your breathing coincides with the work you're doing. Okay? Now we're going to do a nice, easy kick. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now we're going to go right back to that march and march a little faster. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we did what we did before, but that time we went a little faster. Now we're going to pick our knees up, and only if you can do it comfortably, try to go a little faster. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, and you are done. Whew. <laughs> and now we're going to kick our legs out, but not snap the knees. We're going to try to go a little faster. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah. Now, we're going to take one hand. We're going to reach up and across and pull down. So it's like taking something from a basket and putting it up and over into a top shelf. So we're going to go slowly at first. Up and down, two and down, three and down, four and down, reach up, pull down, feel the ribs lift up, two and now you are done. So that worked the shoulder, the side of the back as you reach, the chest as you reach down. So we'll go to the other side, reaching up and across and down and out. We'll go slowly at first. One and down, two and down, three and down, four. Good job. Four more. Reach and pull. Just two more. Up and down yeah. and you are done. Whew. Okay, when we go faster, we don't go all the way up or all the way down. We're going up and down, so we're just going to make it a smaller range of motion. When we go slow, the range of motion's big. The faster we get, the range of motion's small. So, we're going a little faster. Right, lift arm. Here we go. One, and two, and three, and four, and five five and six and seven eight again we go eight and seven and six and five and four and three and two you're done did you feel that yes okay other side <coughs> excuse me <coughs> excuse me oh sorry about that <coughs> my fault <laughs> Okay, here we go. So now, okay. we've gone all the way up and down. We're going a little faster. Two sets of eight. <coughs> Excuse me. Here we go. One and two. Three and four. four five and six. six seven, oh, you're going for eight. <coughs> Excuse eight me. Eight and nine. No, we're nine going faster. Nine and ten. Faster than yeah. that? Yeah. Oh, you really want to go? One. Yeah. Two, one and two and three, three and four and five and six and seven and, seven and eight. Perfect. Flat back, lean forward. <coughs> Excuse me. And all the way up. So we were reaching across the body and drawing down. Now we're going to reach up and <coughs> up. Uh. So our two hands are coming up. We're going to start with just bent elbows. One and two. As we draw our elbows back, we open up the chest. Opening up the chest. Pulling the elbows back. Squeezing the shoulder blades together. We're going at a nice slow pace. Pull the elbows back. Our hands are up, almost like a goal post. Up and down and up and down. In order to pick the pace up, we're going to bring our hands, palms down, and cross just like this. One, and two, and three, 
and four and five and six and seven second set we go pull push two and three and four and five and six and seven let's make it fun okay here we go let's add a leg one and two three and four five and six and seven, seven a little and faster eight. One, one and two and three and four and five and six and seven one more time go one and two and three and four and five and six and you are done ah relax it down ah. and slowly up how are you feeling I feel like I've accomplished something you have accomplished something our heart rates have gotten Very, up a little yes. bit yes okay now we're doing stomach legs and arms we're going to because you'll notice that carol and i are at the front of our chairs as we push our hands forward from the shoulders we lean back and the heel comes forward we pull the elbows back and one and two and three and four and five and six and seven a little faster one and two and three and four and five and six and seven last set go one and two three and four and five and six and seven you're done good job another way to get the heart rate going sitting down is to roll the arms but we're not just going to roll the arms we're going to roll the arms and pull back okay so it'll be so we're going to pull back on eight one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six now reverse one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six reverse and faster one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight last time two three four five six and you are done <laughs> getting the heart just got rate the up. last one out <laughs> the last one out exactly so we're doing really well and if you want now is a good time to stand up behind your chair if you want to do these exercises we're going to do very similar exercises that we did sitting down we're going to be doing standing them up which is going to make our heart rate go a little faster so remember when you want to get your heart rate up if your hands are over your head your heart rate is going to probably go up quickly remember when we were reaching up mm -hmm. so whenever you reach up and your hand is higher than your heart you'll probably get that heart rate up so if you're reaching up and you think maybe you're working too hard just bring your hand up to here so you don't have to go full range at all make modifications so that you can move with us but do your very best and have great regard for your body mm -hmm. so up we go we're going to be standing behind our chairs and if you remember one thing that we did was marching okay so i'm just going to pivot you right around here oh you do want me there you that. go okay so that you can see us marching it's a lot of fun <laughs> okay so first of all we're going to lift our knees up but we're standing we have to think about our posture very first off ear over shoulder shoulder over hip hip over knee knee over ankle and make sure there's nothing in the way like a cup of water <laughs> <laughs> i owe carol big after that one i mean i can just see myself stepping in the water <laughs> flipping over thank heavens your chairs behind I'm me behind you all right so standing nice and tall we're going to start with a nice easy slow march holding on to the chair one two three four five six if you want take a hand off the chair one two three four five six seven if you want add the arms two three four five six seven and eight relax 
Now we're going to try to go slower, but lift the knee up a little higher. We'll try it with our hands on the chairs, alternate hands on the chairs, and then maybe no hands on the chair, but you have to decide what's the best for you. So here we go, a little higher knee. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, alternate arms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Try no arms. Two, three, high knees. Five, six, seven, and done. So your heart rate should be up a little higher. Okay. Now we're going to do the great reach. Remember, we reached across the body and down. So we're going to do that. Our range of motion is going to be bigger now because we're standing up. We were limited to a small degree when we were sitting in the chair and limited because our buttocks were grounded. Okay, so let's take our time. We're gonna reach across the body and up and down. Two and down. Three and down. Four and down across the body, Five, up and down and out. Six and down. Seven and down. <coughs> eight, eight and down. Now eight a little quicker. One, One and two, two and three, three and four, four and five, five and six, six and seven, seven and eight. eight. Ah. So you'll notice when we were going full range of motion, we were lifting the heel and reaching, lifting the heel and reaching. And we had to stabilize the lower body in order to go quickly. So... Now we're going to do the other side. We're going to reach forward and up, down and out. One and two and three and four. Up and out, down and out. Six, seven and eight. Quicker stabilize one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. Woohoo! How's your heart? Right. I know, mine too. We always want to pay attention. How is our body feeling? How is our body feeling? Now, remember when we we're sitting down and touching out with the foot? Oh, we're going to be doing that from <coughs> here. We're going to be touching out one and then together, out and together. Out and together, out and together. Standing nice and tall, ear over shoulder, shoulder over hip, knee under the hip, and ankle. So it's a nice straight line. So we go one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. Again, one and two and three and four and five and six and seven. Add the arm. One and two, three and four, five and six, seven. Second time we go eight, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, and done. Oh, ha! So we're doing an exercise we know. We're just doing it a little quicker. With this one, we're going to add repetitions. So now we're going to touch out and in on the same foot eight times. We're behind our chair. We can hang on. So we're going to try to do it with one foot and then let the opposite arm go. And then we're going to try it with two hands. Standing tall, know you're very secure by holding onto the chair in front of you. We're gonna try it with this foot touching out and in eight times. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven, opposite arm. One and two, soft base knee, you're Four, doing great. Five, five and six, six and seven, seven, try double arms. Eight, one, one and two, two and three, three and four, four and five and six, six and you seven, are and done. Let's take that foot we worked, bring it behind the other one and push the hips back and lean forward. Doesn't that feel good? Wouldn't it be nice to stay here? <laughs> Just like this. 
Okay. <laughs> Bend your knees and slowly roll up. Okay. Repetitions. Other side. <coughs> Just the leg for eight. Then the opposite arm. And then try both arms. Now, you'll notice that when we did both arms, I kept coming back to holding onto the chair. But Carol was stable and balancing the whole time. So always remember, find a way that works best for you. Okay, let's start touching out to the side. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven. Opposite arm. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven. Both arms. We've got eight and seven and six and five and four and three and two and one. Bring it behind you. Push the hips back. Ah, it does feel good to stretch, I must say. So we were going out to the side, out to the side. Now we're going heel toe, standing behind the chair. Heel forward, toe back. Okay? Have you got enough room? Yeah. Do All right. So you check your environment too, because sometimes when you get up. Do you have room? I do. I have all the room in the world. Okay. Okay. Here we go. One, One and two, two and three, three and four, four and five. five soft six, base knee standing seven, tall eight. again. One, One and two, two and three, three and four, four and five and six, six and seven. seven Here and we go. Eight. Hands. One and two and three, three and four, four and five, five and six, six and you seven are and done. eight. I like that number eight. Eight. Everybody loves the number eight. <laughs> okay. Let's try it with the other foot. Nice and tall. Soft base knee. A soft knee means it's not snapped Sweet back completely. Back. Means it's nice and soft. Still, the knee is under the hip and over the ankle. Nice and tall. Other foot. One and two and three, three and four, four and five, five six, six and seven, seven seconds and eight. One and two and three and four and five and six, six and seven. seven and add the eight. arms. One, One and two and three and four, five and six. six I think we can do seven, it one more time. Eight. Let's go. Whoa, One and two, two and three and four and five and six. six and you seven are and done. Eight. Whew. Wowee, that's a lot of work. Okay, so when you do a lot of work and you're saying to yourself, I'd really like some water, I'd really like to sit down, we understand that completely. So we're going to get a good stretch for the back, holding onto the back, walking the feet back a little bit, pushing the hips back, lifting the toes. Your arms are straight, shoulder to hip is straight, hip to ankle is straight, toes up. If it's comfortable for you, press the chest down. Feel the gentle stretch as your ribs lift and pull away from your hips. Feel how good that feels on your back. Come down as far as it's comfortable for you back. Then toes down, bend the knees, and slowly roll up. Now, if you have a chair or a table in front of you, we're going to show you a really, really nice stretch to do. Because we're folding forward, folding, we really want our arms open and back. So. We're going to turn our backs to the chair or the counter, okay? We're going to step forward and turn our backs to the chair or counter and see if we can hold to the sides and top of the back of the chair. Good. We're going to step forward a little bit, lift the chest up, and just straighten out those arms and just lean forward. This should feel so good. As a matter of fact, I don't know about Carol, but if anybody saw the movie Titanic, oh. you know, if I had a little longer hair, I might look just like that lady. <laughs> All righty. Bend the knees and slowly walk back up and slowly turn your chair around and come back to center. What a great job you did. Today was kind of difficult because we were looking, working quickly and then slowing it down quickly and then slowing it down. Big range of motion, small range of motion. We were doing a lot of different things to get our heart rates up. And so I hope you had fun today because we did. But once you do stuff like that, you definitely need a good stretch. Yep. So again, Carol and I are sitting at the edges of our chair. We're now going to extend one leg and draw a toe up. Our hands on our thigh for good support. 
As we sit nice and tall, ear, shoulder, hip. There's our nice spinal alignment. We're gonna utilize this hand for support so the back doesn't take any of the work. We're gonna take the other hand and lift it forward and up. Then we're gonna lift the ribs up and look to where the wall meets the ceiling. And then float the hand forward and down. It rests comfortably on the thighs. Again, we sit tall, and as you exhale, we fold forward from the hinge on the hip, sliding the hand down, down, down. Breathe in, and as you breathe out, allow the whole body to relax down. Then, take the hand from the straight leg, bring it to the bent knee, and slowly push yourself up. <sighs> Take the hand that crossed the body, hold on to the leg, while the hand that was on the bent knee draws up and back, and you turn and look up and back. Reach a little more, let your eyeballs work a little more, and slowly, slowly come back to center. Good work. Let's switch legs. So you did a good job. So this is like thanking your body for doing so well. Breathe in, lift and lengthen. Lift the gaze so you're looking between where the wall meets the ceiling. And then slowly float the hand forward and down. Let it rest comfortably on the thigh. Breathe in, long spine. Exhale, slowly float down. Breathe in. And as you exhale, allow the whole back to release. Taking the hand from the leg that's straight, place it on the bent knee, push yourself up. Take the hand that was on the bent knee, draw it back and up. Keep your eyes on the hand, and then draw it back and up a little more. See what you've got for a gentle stretch, and then ever so slowly back to center. What a great job you did. <sighs> Let's lean back and lift the toes and the fingers. Lean forward a bit, lift the heels of the hands and the feet. Lean back, lift the toes and the fingers, and now the heels. Now a nice easy rotation, breathe in, sit tall. Turn and look to one side. Come back to center. Turn and look over to the other side. Breathe in, breathe out, whoosh. Breathe in, breathe out, whoosh. Breathe in, third time. Breathe out, whoosh. And third time to the other side. Whoosh. Hands on the thighs, breathe in nice and tall. Fingers forward. Exhale, whoosh. Round the back up. Breathe in, lift the ribs, lift the chest, arch and fold. Round, push up, lift. Lengthen, fold. Wow, that was great. How are you feeling? You did a great, great. job today. Feeling okay? Great. Excellent. You did a great job. We're going to work harder and harder. And every day you just do a little more and a little more. And golly, before you know it, you're in the Olympics. <laughs> okay. So let's take a great big breath in. Exhale and know that all will, will be, be well. well. Yippee! Let's get some water. Yeah. <sighs> ah. Yay. Hip hooray. Funding for Simsbury Community Television is provided in part by contributions from viewers like you. Thank you.